Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to Factorio. Where last time we built a proper factory for red signs, and it's not the one up here. That's, that's the old one. And as you might guess, today it's time for green signs. But powering up the new factory uh, left us a bit short of uh, power that's why I have maxed out this this power array and we also run a bit into tr trouble to get enough coal throughput here so everything is powered at the moment we are using a bit more than 50% of what we could produce so maybe it's enough for a factory for green signs maybe not we will we will see and uh, usually um, i play this game uh, to have one big uh, steam power um, plant and supplement a bit with uh, with solar power to bridge the the gap until we can go nuclear i don't think this will be feasible on this run uh, purely because with the uh, setup that we have here with the with the factories they tend to use more power early on uh, because uh, we scale much earlier on so maybe we need a, a second steam power plant well on to green science we have one square here that's uh, mostly empty uh, which is a good candidate for our factory so let's see what we can do we don't need the red signs anymore we want to have a look at the green one um, and yeah let's do it that way Okay, and then we need this. Okay. We have ratio three to one. Um, what if we say we want 2.5? yeah that's about right because that gives us uh, um, 22 furnaces here or, or 20 and then we can basically use the same setup uh, for smelting as we have for the red suns production and we also need only iron ore and uh, and copper ore because we all that we uh, transport here with our trains are ores liquids and uh, science packs and uh, with that in mind let's just uh, uh, try to uh, copy the setup that we have here for unloading and smelting and then let's see uh, yeah we, we will need uh, the, uh, a few steps in between the the molten things um, but it should not be uh, that complicated um, because down here we have quite a bit of uh, room to spare so uh, let's let's see about that 
The first part is in and as you can see we are already producing copper and iron. Aside from the iron gears we also need the uh, green circuits and we can copy that from here or let's do it uh, where have we yeah from here and I think here we only need uh, one set we don't need that many um, that many uh, um, green circuits and if we align this properly then we can pull out uh, the uh, iron mine uh, iron line here um, of course we need underground there and here do I have a few yep that was all we are now going with the faster insert there um, That means here we will have the uh, green circuits on one side down here that's where we will have copper and let's split that up because we also need No, we don't need, we don't need copper in, in any of the other productions. So, what we can then do is, um, we need the the belts and the inserters belts we need one factory and inserters need two so let's have one here and one here that's for the inserters now let's see there 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 um long-handed inserter long-handed inserter short-handed long-handed and and power that way and let's have the output there and then This does not need to go further up. We have this and this, and that's the belts. And output here so it goes on the other side of the belt. 
nice. That's the input that we need for the green signs. And now we just need 20 machines for the um, for the for the actual signs. And actually down here we have 40. So let's just copy this setup. Um, let's move this up here. That's our input. And out of assembly machines. And the thing that I noticed is currently we are just slightly above that power consumption we saw at the at the beginning of uh, the episode but let's see what happens if i pull out a stack of assembly machines here which means this machinery kicks in and well, maybe not so much with the assembly machine, but when I grabbed some uh, inserters, uh, then there was higher increase in, in power. So we definitely need to keep an eye on that. And before we add any more things, we really have to sort the uh, power power uh, system out yeah. and that's the belts but luckily our logistics factory that's producing them is just close by and we can have what we need. Let's first try to build everything that I already have in my pocket. And then we can see about the missing pieces. So a bit more belt and then we need the uh, loading stations for the green signs uh, which should be basically the same setup as the red one so 400 yellow belts uh, should be enough to finish this part and as you can see now uh, we have filled up here everything so that's why our power production or consumption is not that high but rest assured that it can peak so um we need to set this up properly with the correct recipes otherwise nothing good will come out of it um, and with the input that we have lined up here that would mean nothing would come out at all and if we now look at the power we should see that uh, the consumption is rising. We are at uh, 30 megawatt and uh, at the beginning we, are, we were at 24. And that's still not with, uh, with all the, uh, the assembly machines running here. So, last thing here is have this loading station
and we don't need that chest there. This one wants to be green signs. Uh, of course, with the right icon. signal then a train right orientation don't have any wagons anymore um, let's make this green and just let it sit there can pull this up right so let me quickly grab some more wagons so we can actually load that train and then we will see what we can do about power consumption and ensuring that we don't fall into a uh, hole there. So, wagons are down here. Stack, and while I'm at here, I also grab some of those. And small power poles. Half a stack, iron chests, half a stack, and that should allow me to finish the green sign setup. And once I have placed that last wagon there let's have a look at power yeah we are already maxed out here or almost so we don't have too much wiggle room here so what i thought is here we have a, a rather large coal field and half of it is on the other side of uh, the train line. So why not use this part uh, of the coal field to have to feed in another power station here, which just means we have to ensure that we deliver water to here. So that should not be a big issue. We need to clean out a bit of forest. We need to deliver water. We have to ensure that we have a large storage of water uh, because uh, delivering water by train just means um, it's not constant. Uh, and then we have to basically build up another one of these, which require a few resources that that I need to craft so let's put those in here grab those resources clear the, uh, the forest out down there and then we can see how all of this comes together the trees are cut out and uh, I have already placed the uh, water unloading station because we need quite a bit of water uh, and probably the setup with water delivery will not be sufficient to run this uh, steam uh, power plant 
uh, full throttle. Uh, but I think at this point every bit helps and what we can do here is uh, place the miners. I think if we go the length of the field here, um, that leaves a bit of ore to the side, um, but eventually we will also get to, to that part. Um, and here, of course, a bit of belt. And that should be enough for uh, the need that we have here. There. And then, of course, we need to connect all this up to that. Or maybe we have normal things going on there. And now it's just a matter of, uh, of placing all these things in that have been let out and see what it does for our uh, power hungry base. This has doubled the potential power output that we can have and by building it here in the forest I am hoping to contain the pollution a bit from from spreading because down here we do have some uh, alien nests that we need to keep an eye on and uh, I would really like to push uh, science forward uh, before we have to deal uh, with uh, more aliens that stand in the way of our expansion. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and also tune in next time when we will look at chemical science. Until then, goodbye!